Episode 8 of Liar Liar commences with Hiroto and Sarasa receiving a call from Sarasa's doppelganger. She challenges Sarasa to defeat Hiroto in the AIS TRAL challenge, and the victor gets to be the real Sarasa. She also threatens to strip if she refuses the challenge. Hiroto pleads with Kagaya to help him win the competition as the stakes are high. He needs to eliminate three other commanders before the third day and prepare to win against the doppelganger. She agrees to help him in real time. Hiroto also discusses the abilities he would use the next day. He plans to use the abilities of the Indigo Star and the Green Star and one more ability in addition. Yuki reveals the replacement ability, which she has been saving for a special occasion. The same night, Sarasa calls Hiroto and expresses her pre-event jitters. She confides in him about the UK kids that keep staring at her and how she won't get to speak to Hiroto. He wishes her good luck and proceeds to call someone asking for help. On the first day of SATRIL, all the teammates assemble at the location, and the augmented reality is set up for the games to begin. The team starts by experimenting to capture a base. It gives them an insight into how the game must be played. The team use their first few minutes to understand the working of the game by experimenting. Enemoto figures moving east will be the best idea so as to cover maximum distance. They also decide to make use of the spells released at bases at regular intervals. Akazuki wonders how much the freeze time is for spells. Nanasi suggests they can find out as she uses it on Inamoto. Yuki tries out the conceal spell which turns out to be two times the movement value. At the end of day one, LK Academy holds the most area and IMA Academy has the most supporting votes. The team discusses their rivals as they sit around the table for dinner. Just then, Kugazaki walks by taunting Hiroto about wanting revenge. Yuki warns Hiroto about the Holy Knight Brigade being a formidable opponent. Yuki also mentions Shinra High School and their top player Kirigaya Tuyasama, the absolute monarch. She tells Hiroto about Kuruguji Senri from Suyuri Girls Academy and her infamous one-shot kill move. Kurugi overhears the discussion and threatens Hirato. Once she leaves, Yuki reminds Hiroto about the doppelganger and that she has managed to drag Hiroto into her fight with Sarasa. After dinner, Yuki and Akazuki quarrel over sharing the room with Hiroto, while Nanase and Enmoto refuse to share a room. Sarasa breaks up their quarrel, stating that boys and girls must use different rooms. Later that night, Hiroto wakes up and finds Enamoto asleep. He decides to go for a bath, and upon returning, he sees a little middle school girl trying to reach for some candies. He decides to buy her a few and the girl is taken aback by the stranger's kindness. The two start talking. She informs him that she is here for the MTCG as her older sister works for Libra. She also mentions her different colored eyes. She asks Hiroto to play with her and they visit the arcade. He also wins a toy for her, and towards the end, she feels sleepy. Hiroto carries her back to her room. Half asleep, she requests him to pick up dinner for her from the buffet. On the second day, Hiroto and his team run into the Ibarra Academy team with their leader Yuikawa Kanade. He offers to form an alliance with Aimei Academy to restrain from invading each other's areas. Just then, Nanase attacks one of Ibarra Academy's boys as she finds something suspicious. Yukawa calls off the deal and Enemoto jumps into battle to help Nanase. Later that day, Anamamoto scolds Nanase for charging into the enemy area without a plan and boasts he is the one who protected her. Nanase feels offended and tells Enemoto to never talk to her before running away. Day 2 ends with OK Academy still with the largest area and IMI Academy leading in supporting votes. IMI Academy has also managed to collect 12 bases, 